Because, as you know, my mother was passionate about her collecting. And yeah. then when she wasn't going to do the museum, it became her desire to see these things get in the hands of other people that are passionate. Whether you have a million dollars or ten dollars, she wanted some stuff to be appreciated, yeah. you know, by the fans, by the people. And, and that is why we are doing a lot of this. Some people are like, why, why are you guys selling this stuff? I mean, you're like, you, you need cash for food. And, and <laughs> no, so the, and it's the, just a lot of no, stuff. No, but it's, it, yes, yeah. there's tons of it. And that is, a, I, and in all my life, I could never ap even appreciate all that I have been left. There's so much. And, and, it, and it really is a mandate that I feel very strongly about, that I want the people that loved her and want a piece of her yeah. to be able to get it. So, during this COVID-19 quarantine, I had a car stolen and um, the policeman came to the house to take a report and at the end of the report, I went ahead and I, I make this... Um, hand sanitizer that's kind of, I guess you would call it a luxury hand sanitizer because it's got a lot of uh, vitamin E and stuff in it and so it doesn't dry your hands out and nobody could get hand sanitizer at this time. And actually, most of the hand sanitizer that you can even get now that we're going into our fourth month of this it was, is um, almost all alcohol. Uh, but then you couldn't get anything. And... So when they were about to leave, I grabbed some of the bottles out of my office and uh, I gave it to them just, I didn't know that they didn't have hand sanitizer. I didn't know that police officers cannot wear masks. It, it changes from state to state, but uh, I, when I gave it to them, you would have thought I put bars of gold in their hands. And so I was a little surprised and they said, thank you so much. Uh, we, we don't have any hand sanitizer. There isn't any hand sanitizer. And my neighbor, Brooke, is also a police officer and I had given it to her way before this. Um, just because I love her and I, I didn't realize that she didn't have any either and she said she had told me that how much it lessened the anxiety of her having to be out and this again is right in the middle of, of the COVID so I when I gave it to them and I saw their reaction I thought uh, we have to give our police officers some hand sanitizer because they're on the front lines and um, so we I called my friend Joe said to me I will do this with you because he couldn't believe it I mean but he could because he wasn't able to get hand sanitizer either but anyway I was really happy because I had Joe to help help me um, sponsor this too because uh, we are delivering 1,100 bottles. Uh, we're on our way to do that now, and I am so happy to be doing anything, any little part to show respect um, to our Las Vegas Police Department because I love them. They are... You know what happened? When Mandalay Bay had the shooting... Let me just give you an example of this. So when Mandalay Bay... Had the Police reported ahead. Everyone was trying to get out. They were, they didn't know where the shooters were. Nobody did, and they just saw people going down. And so they were wanting very much to get. All the people want just wanted to get out. So they were, they were climbing over the fences. And while a couple thousand people were trying to get out, the Las Vegas Police Department was trying to get in, and they were just walking into a, a minefield of bullets where nobody knew where they were coming from. And so while, while we run out to save ourselves, which is a natural inclination for us to do, the Las Vegas police were running in and they were 
I remember seeing the cop cam footage of that and I thought they have my undying respect because they were they had families that they didn't know if they would be going home to that night and quite honestly every night of a policeman's life I imagine that's what it's like so I am very happy uh, we're meeting Joe now um, I'm very happy to be going to do something good chickens and she said my father can do anything uh, you know I, I, I said I was so touched by that yes Natalie said my father can do anything and she met him yeah and I was and I was like who is this guy got to go see who this guy is so I, so I find out that he's a, he's a man that has served in our military which I always respect that and because of that and because of what the show is all about yeah, well, and, and we heard a rumor that I asked if she started school yet, and she right. said not yet because they hadn't gotten all the uh, Chromebooks out, right? right. So, and right. So, so I was like, well, we need to fix that. So here's, so you here's your Chromebook. Chromebook. So we're giving you guys Thank the Chromebook. you. You're welcome. We got to get a knife. You know, we we got a knife on money on the show with our auctions. Um, this is paid for by so our viewers. For our viewers, our yeah, uh, did this. So thank yeah. you, everybody. That's what it's about. Thank you. Thank you. So as it turns out, but it was I played. It's very really hard to get one. Right. So I'm thinking oh, I'll just go down and this can be had anyway. I went to like five places and I finally got this. One, but it, was, it was really hard to get. So you, this is great because you get to keep it. Yeah, this year you don't have to give it back to the school district. Which I don't even know if they're really on top of that or not. But um, anyway, we well there is a shortage here in Nevada. Uh, yeah. But so. yeah, we were so yeah. impressed. <laughs> By her loyalty to you, and, and that is our theme. And she's just a great kid. But that's our theme, girl. and our family motto is that you can do anything if you don't use the word can't. That was one of our. That's what I was taught as a kid. And we knew that you had taught this little girl that. Yeah, I knew that. So, I'm so happy. I'm so happy that. that we were, you know, like just got to meet each other. Well, that's our philosophy with our little show good. too. Is when we see something that we can uh, and get in there and meddle with, we try to do it. I mean, we can't do giant things, but we can certainly do little things. Yeah. We all can do little things. Right.